Hello, I'm Alf Bogan uh, with Energy Micro. I started my career uh, in embedded microcontrollers about uh, 25 years ago. And uh, one of the first things I did was to design, uh, together with some, some friends, uh, the AVR microcontroller. ARM started at about the same time uh, with embedded processors. They were licensing the core out to, uh, to many vendors, so uh, people could actually choose the core and they can put it in an ASIC and they can keep their existing manufacturing flow. That meant that uh, more and more people could use it without having to buy from one specific supplier. Well, one of them being Nokia in the cell phones, uh, really big volume customers started to use the controller, and uh, that's the way it spread out. Now, 20 years later, the ARM microcontroller is almost dominant in an embedded designs. And there are a couple of reasons for that. One is that the 32-bit core is not much more expensive than an 8-bit core. So the, so the extra die size for the 32-bit is not significant at all. The other thing is that because it's so many users, the ecosystems that's been developed is huge. I mean, you can get whatever you want for designing with the ARM microcontroller. So now we have a situation where everyone is basically offering the same uh, core, they use the same manufacturing technology. And to differentiate the products, it's really up to us to, to be creative when we design the product, but it's also up to you to be creative on how you use the products and use the benefit of them.